The Christian message is not being rejected by the young because it's too harsh, but because it's too easy. Yep. And the apologetic tone belies the rest of it. You know, young people aren't stupid. They can read the Bible and they go, listen, man, what you're saying is not what's in the owner's manual. It's not in there. It's something different. So in this hour, we can have miracles. We can have thousands saved if we just quit worrying about offending people. Right. When you consider what you preach on, you out there, preacher, when you choose a sermon, you have to understand that you are wrong about what the outside world is like. The seeker model is based on a myth. The person who is supposedly going to be attracted to the seeker model is not a real person. It is a Christian from another church. It's called Walmart. When a Walmart comes to town, it empties out all the little stores because you can get it for less at a bigger place. Many seeker models grow like that. Hey, we'll give you Jesus on the cheap. We'll give you a less intrusive Christianity. We'll be done with you in 12 minutes. So after years of the seeker model, people quit going to church. Why did they quit going to church? Because that was the subliminal message. Right. You don't need commitment. You don't need to sacrifice. And suddenly they just said, yeah, you're right, I don't. I don't even need to be there. So what is the hour we're in? The youth of this nation will respond to a message of death to self. Yep. Yes. A cause worth dying for. A moment where suddenly the anointing of God comes on you and no world event shakes you or makes you afraid.